So in the last video, we created a custom piece of middleware and applied it to our forward slash admin route to protect it so only admins could enter that route. So let's do something more practical with this now and we'll create a user management system where admins can edit and delete users. The first thing we want to do for this is create a new resource controller for our users. So to do this, it's a simple PHP artisan make colon controller. And I'm going to namespace this under admin. So we do admin double backslash user controller. And then we pass it a dash R to say that we want it to be a resource controller. And then hit enter. So that control was created for us under app, HTTP, controllers, and then under the admin folder, because we namespaced the controller and user controller. So because this is a resource controller, it gives us a couple of methods uh, already there for us to use, but we're not going to use all of them. Um, so let's remove them. So we don't want to create or store because users can already sign themselves up. Um, we probably don't want the show either. Uh, we want the index obviously to show all the users and edit to edit the users. And the update is to persist the, the changes into the database and we'll keep the destroy to delete the users. So let's update our routes now. So in our routes, we need to let Varavel know about the uh, resourceful control we just created. So let's create a new route, and this will be a resource route. And the URL will be forward slash admin forward slash users. And that will go to the admin backslash users controller. Now, because we've removed some of the methods, we need to tell Laravel that we don't want those methods included in the uh, resource route group. So as a third parameter, pass it in an array and we say accept. And then accept, we're going to pass in another array of the function names that we don't want it to show. So the first one is show. Next one is create. And the last one is store. So just a quick correction, I called this user control, we're not users. So let's just knock the S off, give that a save. So if you come into a terminal and type PHP artisan root colon list, this will give us a list of our routes. Now we can see our routes from the resource controller. So we've got our index, update, destroy and edit method. And we haven't got a show, create or store because we put them into the accept array. So now we have our route set up let's put a link into our front end so our users can click on that link so if we just head over to our users controller first in the index method and i'm just going to do a die and dump here and just say index so we know we've hit the right controller so just save on that and then come to resources views layout app.blade.php then inside the left side of our nav bar i'm just going to put a new list item with a class of nav item and then I'm going to use that route that we just created, users.index, and we're going to name with text manage users. So let's give the page a refresh. See, so we have our manage users link. And if we just click that, it takes us to our index method. Now I'm going to make a few changes to this route. So this, these changes are going to make it more flexible and easier to manage as the site grows. Um, we might add more controllers that only the admin might have access to. So let's create a new route and we're going to give this a namespace and we're going to give this a namespace of admin and what that allows us to do is not put admin in front of all of our controllers so any routes that go into this group will automatically look in the admin folder in the controllers folder and i'm also going to give this a prefix of admin so when we put this uh, resource inside of this group it'll be admin forward slash users as the URL. And I'm also going to give this a name. I'm going to give this a name of admin dot. This puts admin dot in front of all of our links. So when we call them in our views, we actually put admin dot users. Okay, and then we just create the group. And inside of that is a closure. And now we can copy this resource down. And now we can get rid of this because we've got our 
namespace. If we just save that and we open up our terminal and list out our routes again, you can see now our routes have changed. So all the uh, URLs all have admin at the front of them and that's because we used a prefix in the group. All the names that we use to reference them in our views have all got admin at the front of them. That's because of the name. So this makes it easier. And also when we come to protect this route later on in this uh, video with middleware, we can apply the middleware to the entire root group. Well, let's do that now. So to protect this root group as well, we can simply add in this middleware here. This is exactly the same. And we just pop it in here. So we're also saying now for this group, apply the middleware auth and auth.admin. So any controllers now that we put inside this root group will have all of the properties. So we won't have to repeat them over and over. So now in our view as well, we need to update it because it's root users.index no longer exists because we prefixed them with admin.users.index. Let's just save that, give it a refresh. Now, if we hover over this, you can see it's saying us to forward slash admin forward slash users and we get our index method. So let's build out the index method. So we'll get rid of this die dump and we'll return a view. We haven't created this view yet, so we'll do that next. And we'll return admin dot users dot index. And we want to send down to that view the users. So we can use the with method and we'll call this users and we'll call user and we want to get all the users. Now don't forget to bring in user up the top here. So we want to use app backslash user. So now that'll send all our users down in a users variable. So let's create that view. So I've put it under an admin folder. So let's create that under resources views, new directory, we'll call it admin. So I'm just going to open up this home.blade and I'm just going to take this content and then let's create a new file here. And we call this index, so index.blade.php. And inside of there, I'm just going to paste this and I'm just going to change this to manage users. Now I'm just going to bring in a bootstrap table here just for styling. So I've just come over to bootstrap documentation and I'm just grabbing this table and just pasting that in there. And then in the table body, we want to loop over our users. So for each users as user, and just end for each here. So for each user, we want to create a new table row and we want to echo out the user name and also the user email so we can get rid of these hard-coded rows from the bootstrap documentation let's change our row headers um, change that to name email and we'll get rid of these two for now. And then let's view our changes in the browser. Just so you know, you probably spotted this. I put it under admin.users.index. So we need to create another directory in here. Admin users, and then move that index file up into there. And then give that a refresh. And now we can see we're listing out all of our users that we created admin author and user now we're not showing the roles currently so let's list out the users roles also so under the uh, index view we can do another column of roles and under here we can get the users roles and we can implode them so let's implode and we want to separate them with a comma and then a space. Um, we're going to implode the user, their roles. We created that roles relation on the user model, didn't we, in an earlier video? So we're going to use that and we're going to, going to get that 
and we're going to put the name of the rollout because we don't really need anything else and then this returns us a laravel collection and we need to convert that to an array so if we just refresh now we can see each user's only got one role at the moment so there's no comma separated list but the implode will take care of that if we apply multiple roles to a single user so just to prove that our um, middleware is working on this resource route let's log out and log in as an author so now we're logged in as an author we can still see the manage users link but we'll take care of that in a later video using something called a blade directive but for now everyone can see this link even though they can't access it so let's click it and you see it just loops us back to the home page so we now know that middleware is protecting our user admin controller so in the next video we'll build up our edit function so admins can edit the users and assign them new roles